Thank you. Okay, so that was Farida from us. And I can tell you, we are just getting started, my friends. We are just getting started because we have a whole lot of our panel members. While I'm now going to go ahead to invite yet another very powerful speaker and a part of my speakerpreneur community, Dr. Jesuda. Dr. Jesuda, would you like to now switch on your camera and unmute yourself? Good Can evening, Dr. Sir. Good evening, everyone. Very, very good evening, Dr. Jesuda. And I want to introduce Dr. Jesuda. It's such a pleasure to see you today after a very long time. So Dr. Yes, Jesuda is a founder and director of Soleil's Cosmetology. It's a laser center also. And uh, she's, of course, running it through and through. She, I'm extremely proud having her as a member of the Speakerpreneur community. She's an aspiring author. And, um, you know, some of you may have also heard her inspiring story from me because she's always wanted to, you know, write her own book. And she has dared herself enough even after saying that, Gopika, I have no idea, but I can tell you with the knowledge and experience that she has and with the recipient of a whole lot of awards to her credit, I want to invite her today to speak to all of you with her side of the success story. Stage is all yours. Thank you Jessica. so much. Thank you, Gopika. Wish you all happy Women's Day to all the beautiful women here there. What do you say? If you want something from the heart, then the whole so this is what also happened with me. Way back in 2008, when my family was planning for my marriage, it was the period when I had decided to uh, choose my career into the field of cosmetology. I left for Mumbai and I joined a very good prestigious center and that was the turning point of my life. I spent almost five years there gaining a lot of experience and getting skilled into my field. I always had a strong vision there because I wanted to set up my own clinic and do something independently on my own. So with this strong vision and a burning desire, I was there working day and night. I used to work for two, two shifts and two different clinics the entire day to gain experience in a shorter period of time. I believe whatever, whichever profession, whatever you want to do it in your life, initiation is very important. Most of the times you had held up with a lot of thoughts and you procrastinate things. So initiation is important. You need to develop that confidence and trust within yourself and just go ahead. And consistency is the key to success. You should be continuously be learning, upgrading, skilling yourself with different in different ways, whatever are even related to your profession, not only about your subject and things which are also related to it. So in this way, the, uh, with 10 years of my journey, now I have two of my branches, one in Salapur and other in Pune. I always believe that you should have learning attitude and you should be open to learning with all the senses that you have. One very good example that I wanted to share and reveal, which even Gopika doesn't know about it, is when always I used to hear a profile, I got to have this like whether like the Miss India pageant, what she had participated. Recently, I won the title of Mrs. India One in a Million, but I wanted to reveal this. She was the inspiration for it. I thought because I'm in the beauty industry, this is definitely going to add to my profile. And believe me, even my husband or my family initially were like, Kya hai? but with time, I started developing, progressing, and you can see the confidence level and the energy that we are transforming. So it's that even if she can uh, inspire me and the same energy is being carried forward. I can give you an example. An actress, Rupika Grover from Mumbai, she called me up in January saying that I'm truly inspired by whatever you are going through. And do you think really I should also enter a page in just 50 plus? And she's so happy. You'll not believe she is the first contestant now who is enrolled for 2023. So this is how this energy transformation that is happening through all of us may not be this workout for you like whatever I say or whatever we feel may not be making sense to you but every speaker here will have some success story some sort of inspiration whatever you like you need to pick something which is going to help you 
wherever you go you want to learn something and just try implementing it there's some hidden talent in all of us you need to understand what is your inner driving force and strive through and go ahead with it whatever comes in your life there are a lot many ups and downs even me when i had to start up my setup right from finding out a place right from single penny that i had to arrange to, to go ahead and come to this stage i have done it on myself definitely my family has supported me a lot so i would like to advise you all we always need appreciation support and moreover is a happy life out of whatever you gain today or even whatever success level you reach so the joy of little things is very important which even gopika is right now today doing it with all the women so be connected with your family enjoy all the little things all the celebrations everything and whatever comes across your way take that challenges and live up to it and grow up in your life on this holy i want each one of you to burn all the negativity all that negative thoughts or everything that is holding you up to burn out everything on this holy and take charge of your own life be the leader of your own life thank you so much awesome can we have a big round of applause for dr jaisuda iya i mean this young girl hardly looks like a doctor first of all definitely <laughs> not married definitely not like you know getting into the zones of competitions and winning them now you still looking like in your teens dr jay so that i must com compliment you i think i am extremely enamored by the confidence that you have shown in today and this is exactly the inspiration that we want you to send out and i'm so happy you started to also inspire women and that's exactly what we need to do just be the torch bearers of inspiring another person men or women does not matter but that's something that we really really need to do right come on a quick so abc much. in the chat box everyone and that was dr jaisuda and i can tell you every single person here is you know like a firehouse and i've i've been i've known dr jaisuda i think almost about 2 years back in one yes. of our programs when she was <laughs> aspiring to become an author and i truly truly remembered her you know her deep burning desire and that's why we invited her to share her side of the story look at the young director you you look at the young you know doctor and the winner of the you know the title as well so much to your credit dr jaisuda and you're just getting started by the way so wishing you all the very best thank you so thank much you. thank you for this golden opportunity thank you so much thank you